So I had a really bad knee fall and um, I haven't skated since. I had a bunch of blood that accumulated in my knee and basically um, it put me out for a month. So um, I wanted some substantially thicker pads. I have the 187 fly pads here um, and that's what I've always had. And then I have bought these uh, TSG Force 3, not 3A, just 3. And I got them for like 60 bucks, so um, probably because they're a nice shade of yellow, but I don't care. Um, but after doing a lot of research, I had already ordered a pair of S1s in medium large, and they felt super small. The Velcro on the S1s with a medium large for my, basically I measured 17 inches on my thigh and uh, I did all the right things with the measurements and I got them and they felt super uncomfortable and that Velcro on the S1s only went to about here. Um, so I actually sent those back and then decided not to order the bigger size uh, since they, they actually just didn't feel good. But when I put these on with my 187s, they actually don't, they don't feel bulk, bulkier, but they are. So I'm going to take them off and, and show you the, what I see and what I like. See the significant size difference when you see them side by side. Let me get back so you can actually look at them. But side by side, I mean, they are significantly larger. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe even twice the size. You can really tell if I fold this over, you know, side by side. They, they're significantly more coverage. And as far as the padding goes, you know, it's, it's hard to tell, but I, they're supposed to be thicker and they have an extra, like if you feel inside of the fly pads, it's straight down. But if you feel inside of the TSG Force 3, there's actually an extra pad right in here and it kind of cups your knee, which I think makes them feel great. Um, I do have a small medium in the fly pads and those fit me and you know, the neoprene part, you, you really have to wear those on your knee um, which means you have to put them on over your pants or whatever to get a good snug non-moving fit and the 187 pads have the top Velcro strap which is pretty typical on everything. What I really liked about these and why I didn't want the Killer 187 Pro pads is because these have this strap down here and I don't believe the Pro pads on 187 have this buckle. That made, made it fit really secure and I always had that pulled down super tight. Um, the TSG Force 3, I ordered a large, and I am actually perfect. Um, that's an interesting tag, blood group. Um, they're actually the perfect size. Large, um, I decided to go with a large after I had gotten the S1 pads, and they just didn't fit. But I tell you, the, the best thing, these, these have the most secure closure. I don't know how long this, it's a very neoprene E material very stretchy so these were designed in Switzerland but I think they were made in China so we'll see how long they actually last but this is very uh, furry terry cloth stuff um, the outside is like a wetsuit material but here's the cool thing so instead of having just a limited amount of velcro which I noticed on the s1 pads which were gen 45 I think 4.5 instead of having a limited piece of velcro it has like velcro all along so like me, I think I'm on the second Velcro or the first Velcro, as tight as I want to go. And so then this this just sticks to it. You know, that's the other side of the Velcro. Um, so there's lots of adjustment there. But so I think that's that's pretty cool. I really like that a lot. And again, you can kind of see, well, you can kind of, well, you can't really, but right there's the horseshoe shape. And hopefully the padding is thicker. Uh, I feel like it is when I feel down here, not at the top right here, but down here I think I have extra padding. Um, this has also, uh, when you look at the fly, you know, the fly has non-removable caps. The Pro was, will be more similar to this, I guess. Um, and this has um, some pretty significantly stitched Velcro on the top with the, uh, you know, you see the cross stitch in there. And also replaceable knee shells, but I'm not, I'm not positive I'll ever wear them out, but um, I've looked and I could find them online, so I don't know if they're interchangeable with the other varieties of this. Um, but my favorite thing so far about these, well, other than they feel really good, is this strap. It's a buckle and it's Velcro, but it's, again, substantially stitched and everything, so hopefully it'll hold up its nylon right here. Um, but it is adjustable, 
and then you click it close. So instead of having to do this thing where you loosen it all the way up, you have to you, you get it to where you want, and all you do is undo the buckle. Now I was a little concerned about the buckle. Uh, maybe you know when you on impact, I might end up busting the buckle or something like that. Um, I imagine I could probably replace that pretty easily. You know, they sell the plastic, but anyway, so I'm really impressed with this so far, but, but most of all, they feel so good on my knee. Uh, they don't feel like they've got all the bulk. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to compare because I haven't seen a lot of detail on these TSG pads. Now I understand the 3A and 5A pads have a special kind of padding that is on impact. It does something special, but I decided not to spend the extra money for that and just get the just get the basic one. And and, and I, I read reviews and, and people really liked um, actually this one better than they thought it had a better fit than the newer one. So so far, if you know, as long as the stitching and everything holds up, you can see on my. Uh, these pads, I've got some tearing here. I'm pretty rough on the pads, really. Um, and also, I, I washed these in borax because somebody suggested it, and it bleached them out. But this stitching is just from my falls. So uh, I imagine, you know, you know, that's just normal wear and tear. But hopefully these will hold up this, a similar amount of time. Anyway, there you go. TSG Force 3. Really, that's what the review is on. The flies. A lot of things out there on that. Uh, that's just a lesser pad. Anyway, see you later.